Thank you. Now it seems that we have time only for one more question. The gentleman, of, yes. So many hands, I'll have to come back. Here, I'll take both of them really both. quickly. You both, both <laughs> men are standing, I'll take both. Okay. okay. I'm Stelan Markovic, I'm a high school student. Uh, as you surely know, our educational system is on a lo low level. Uh, your, your United States and many countries have helped Bosnia in these past 15 years to encourage students uh, an educational system, but that was not so effective. Uh, I want to know if uh, United States have a new, stronger plan that will encourage students to stay in Bosnia and build a career uh, exactly in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, as you know, as you probably know, uh, in the constitution of tuition in our colleges is 99% theory and 1% practical work. So we need more practical work. Is, uh, has the United States any plan to encourage students and get our educational system better than it is right now? Thank you. Um, we, we are prepared to help in any way. Um, and I think the, that educational change and economic change go hand in hand. Because, as you point out, when some people graduate from uh, the university, there are no jobs. And without the jobs, then people are going to leave. And you will have more opportunities to leave as you move closer to Europe. Visa liberalization will give you more opportunities to travel, obviously. So we want to support both educational reforms and economic reforms. Um, and as to your point about practical uh, training, again, we are more than happy to work with your, um, your gymnasiums, your, your colleges, your universities, um, all of your educational institutions to see how we could help uh, on that as well. Um, but I think that You've got to look at education and the economy together, because many of you are very uh, fluent in English, which I'm quite impressed by. And that means you can go anywhere in the world, just about. So what you need are jobs that will take advantage of your education. So we have to look at both education and economic reform together. Gentlemen. Mr. Clinton, I am Sujan Kosic from the American University in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And in my university, I go to uh, classes with Serb uh, Serbian students, Croatian students, and Bosnian students. And I see all of them as my close friends, and I fully agree with you that this country should be united. I see this flag over there that stands proudly next to the United States flag, and I fully support this flag, and I love my country. And I've heard you say several times, though, that um, you are against, strongly against secession, and I fully agree with this. I believe that we should be united as one nation. But I have, um, I'm a bit curious, though, about uh, the opposing view that the United States seems to have with Kosovo and Serbia. I'm curious, how, does, uh, how is it um, not possible that these two different ethnic groups cannot unite under one flag or cannot become one country the same way that all of us are one country and the same way that all of us used to be an even greater country um, more than two decades ago. So could you please state to us now uh, your opinions and your country's opinions on this? Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, and thanks for what you said about your educational experience at the American University. We're very proud of the American University uh, here in uh, Sarajevo. I think that if you, if you have the interest it would be worth reading uh, at least the, the digest or the findings of the International Court of Justice uh, ruling on Kosovo because it was a unique situation recognized by the United Nations Security Council uh, as leaving open the door for uh, independence. And I think it's a 10,000 page uh, order, so I have not read 10,000 pages, but I've read the analysis uh, of it. I, I am a recovering lawyer, we say. I used to be a lawyer and a law professor in, in another life. Um, and the factual uh, basis for that uh, decision is very well founded. And there is nothing in uh, the experience here that is in any way comparable. So although people may have those feelings, there is no historical 
or legal or international uh, basis for any uh, decision to separate in Bosnia-Herzegovina. So I think that it is, uh, it's a completely fair question, um, and I would, because of your interest, recommend that you look at uh, the opinion uh, because the judges in the International Court of Justice were very uh, clear in going through all of the factors that led to their decision. Those factors don't exist here uh, with uh, uh, the Republic of Srpska. It just is not a comparable situation. I will add, however, that when I go to Belgrade and Pristina later in this trip, I am going to be strongly making similar points that I've made. They have to work better together. They have to resolve their differences. They have to have a more cooperative relationship. So even though Kosovo has now been uh, legally declared an independent state, um, that doesn't mean that there should not be continuing efforts to overcome differences between uh, Kosovo and Serbia. I am personally very encouraged by uh, the actions that the Serbian government has been taking, uh, which demonstrate a commitment toward European Union membership, uh, which I think Serbia is a, an excellent candidate for. And with Kosovo, they have to do some more internal uh, work to improve their own governance and improve their own economy. So the entire uh, Balkans has a lot of work to do. And yet I think that work is doable, and the United States stands ready to help. But I have to say, as much as I want to see progress in Serbia and Croatia, which is moving as well very quickly, Kosovo, I am particularly um, hopeful and very committed to what you're doing here in Bosnia-Herzegovina, because what you are trying to do is really hard. And it can only be achieved if everyone at every level of society is committed to the enterprise. But I'm not just saying this because I have this hope and this aspiration, this vision for what you can do. It's because I believe, based on all of the analysis that I have done, that a united nation under that flag can be an incredibly powerful presence in Europe. Your diversity will be your strength. Your pluralism will be your ticket to greater opportunity. You will attract more investment. More people will be intrigued by and wish to study and work and invest in Bosnia-Herzegovina. So if you can overcome the remnants of divisiveness, there is no limit to your future. If you cannot, then I fear you will find yourself in a state of paralysis. And any attempt to be a separate country will fall, because there will be no recognition, there will be no willingness to work with that uh, entity. But a united Bosnia-Herzegovina will have a tremendous future, and that's my hope for you, and I am anxious to assist you in doing so. Thank you all very much. This was really a strong Thank you for your time. It's been a privilege talking to you, and thank you for all you've done.